what's going to happen with the stack? What, what's the future of that stack? It goes away. Understanding that we can basically take all data. We have all human knowledge in the cloud. Everything that any human has ever learned in the history, in, in the 300,000 years that we've been remotely intelligent, and in the 600 years that we've been documenting it, it's all, it's all, in the, it's all available to you through your cell phone. Any question. And not only that, I can, I can just yell out, um, hey Siri, what's my schedule for tomorrow? Okay? Hey Siri, what is the weather in Chennai, India tomorrow? and get the answer. That's the direction you're going when it comes to industry, right? That's the direction that you're going. The reason these, this stack exists is because each of, these, each of these layers was built to solve one issue, okay? To solve one need in the market. So they organized the stack, right? They designed it and organized like it. A phone book. That's right, <laughs> like a phone book. It's a great example. So ultimately, where are we going? We're going to the Internet of Things. Do you think there will ever be, will there ever be a shared namespace, a public namespace where open manufacturers can publish their data? And For open manufacturers, yes. Will there be, will there be a, a shared namespace for all manufacturers? No, because that data that comes from the edge, in some cases, is proprietary. It's intellectual property, right? So you, you're not going to just dump that into some, I mean, it's just like, co it's copyright, right? But there are a lot of cloud-based solutions out there where people are storing their data together in the same data lakes. They're only accessing their own data, but all the data lives inside the data lake. And the, and the exchange for sharing that information is that on the back end, you're going to improve from someone else's data. So ultimately, what, what's the future of that stack? It goes away. This is why when people ask me questions about the Purdue security model, I just giggle. I mean, it's not that the Purdue security model is useless. It's that it won't exist. It's not even going to apply. It's not even going to apply by the time my career is winding down. It won't even apply. It's like trying to fit a round, a round peg through a square hole. The model just, it, it, the, 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 the Purdue security model is not even going to apply. The Purdue, this Purdue security model was built for the stack. How do you segment and protect the data at each layer, right? That, that's ultimately what it's for. Now, some people will say that the security model is dependent upon the consumers of the data, but that's only if you turn it on its side. Most of those people who preach this Purdue security model, I, I just laugh. I, I mean, I gig, I, and I don't mean to denigrate anyone. It's just I just laugh at that. I mean,